everybody. Is it morning? I don't think it is. I think it's literally midday. I dragged myself out of bed at half past nine. I made my banana pancake, which was a disaster as usual. Watched some YouTube videos. The sky is blue, not a cloud to be seen. I wanted to be outside. So I will go for my walk at some point, but you can't really enjoy the outdoors really because you just got to keep moving and I'd really like to sit on a bench and read a book and you know but I can't <laughs> so it is what it is yesterday was very unmotivational couldn't just couldn't get off the sofa felt quite low I didn't do yoga <laughs> I seem to have pulled something in my leg. I think maybe I was a little bit overzealous with that yoga that I did the other day. So I've got like a bit of a twang going on in my leg, which is really annoying. But I, I will be I will do yoga today, I think. I'm feeling that I need to do some yoga today. Um yesterday I went for a walk and I think I walked about two and a half, three miles. So that's decent. So at least I did some exercise and got some fresh air. I did some washing and managed to hang my sheets out outside, so that was good. And I made a banana bread. So look, I kind of was quite productive yesterday in a non-productive way. I still haven't cleaned my bathroom. That's happening today, definitely. Pop Pop isn't here. My next door neighbour's just told me that she's locked in the flat and she's sitting on the windowsill looking out the window. Poor little Pop Pop. It's quite nice actually to have a bit of a break. So yes, yeah, so what to do today? So yes, obviously my walk, I mean it's the same. It's the same as every vlog. Walk, yoga, cleaning, YouTube, television. I've run out of tonic. This is an emergency situation. I'm not going out to the shops, that's for sure, because it's Sunday and everybody's going to be out. I'll show you my banana bread. It's a winner. It's got um, almonds in it. It was supposed to be banana walnut, but I didn't have any walnuts. But I did have some almonds. In fact, if I move that way, I can put a little picture in there of what it looked like when it came out of the oven. Ta-da! Really pleased with it. It was a Delia Smith recipe. So it's very nice. I had a bit last night. It's very, very nice. I'm just watching this video. This girl's cutting her own hair because I think I might have to try this at some stage. So, you know. And just uh, researching how to lob your own hair off because mine's driving me nuts. Look who came to see me. Little Pop Pop came to see me. Yes. Okie dokie. I fancy a bit of banana bread. <laughs> it's in here. Now I don't buy cling film anymore but I have cling film left from when I used to buy it. And I don't have a tin that fits the little banana bread in. So I've used cling film and put it in my casserole. What do we think to that? Mm hmm. You can see the almonds in there. 1.35, Sunday afternoon, still in the pyjamas. This is like dried chicken. It's really weird, but it's all natural. And she likes them. <laughs> Come on then. Come on then, you can have these. Because you're so good. It's really nice. Pretty impressed with my cooking skills. I 
I'm bathed, I'm clean, I have washed my face to an inch of its life. <laughs> I put on a mask, a Madara mask, which was um, the green one, this one. Peel, brightening AHA peel mask. Hoping that it's going to peel off my face and give me a new one. So after I used the peel, I used the Bayo Radiance face scrub, which is divine. It's really creamy, smells of very sweet orange. And then I used my Tropic Cleanser. And then I used vitamin C and mm. hyaluronic acid that I got in my Holland and Barrett advent calendar. I'm losing my brain. And then on top of that, I've put my Bayo face recovery moisturising cream, which is also the best cream in the world. I feel like I've got very clean skin and I feel like it's very smooth and moisturised and hydrated and I think it looks a bit better. So I need to start taking more care of myself. I realised when I was in the bath that actually it makes you feel much better, doesn't it? And I'm getting waves of motivation <laughs> and then something happens and I lose it. So I have to keep hold of this motivation now and do something. So I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to do my washing up because I'm a lazy cow. Do my washing up and then I'm going to go out for my half an hour walk because it's absolutely glorious outside and I don't want to miss out on half an hour of vitamin D. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my yoga with Adrian because she's uploaded a new one today. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to clean the bathroom by hook or by crook. I'm cleaning the bathroom today. But after that, I might allow myself a, a break. And I'll take you with me on the walk today because I think it would be really nice for you to see the blue sky and some flowers and whatever else we see on the walk. And hopefully I don't have to run away from too many people. Outfit of the day is a blue and white stripy t-shirt, a really old sort of linen-y type cardigan, which I think will be perfect for today because it's 21 degrees. So just something on top to keep me warm. My jeans I've rolled up and then I'm going to be having some really scuzzy old trainers as well because they're comfortable to walk in. And I think that's the most important thing, don't you? Yes. I'm a proper YouTuber now, aren't I? Outfit of the day. Five minutes. Just 
five minutes outside. I don't have to worry about people coming up to me. The park is completely quiet at the moment, so let's hope that stays like that for a while. It's glorious. For those of you who've got gardens, appreciate them. Make the most of them. Because those of us who don't, I'll tell you. Pay anything right now for private garden. To say to you, I'm letting you go, and so should you. because it's a little bit chilly now it's cold in my flat anyway and I've cleaned the bathroom I still have this crap to deal with but I've cleaned the bathroom it didn't really need that much cleaning so uh, yeah it's all done it's all clean hurrah washing up pretty much done happy with that that needs to soak for a little bit but uh, it's all done I'm going to cook my dinner now. It is half past six, so I'm going to get on it. I'm having Greek risotto tonight. Don't ask me what it's called. It begins with a T. Taha, ha ta ha ha something like that. <laughs> Mum and I had this in Greece when we were on that cooking holiday and we loved it. So she's decanted some. It looks a bit like couscous, but it isn't couscous. It's weird. Um, Greek risotto. So I'm going to have that with mushrooms and a courgette. And an onion. So, can get going with that. I've only cooked it once before and it was a bit of a fail, but I've been through it tonight with mum on the telephone. <laughs> so, it's gonna work. Had a little bit of tonic left and I'm just topping it up with the um, Fentiman's Gently Sparkling Elderflower. We're going back to the Doctor Who today. Doctor Who, Dalek, exterminate. Oh. Canine, oh, sticks to my finger. Oh. And we'll throw in a TARDIS as well, for good measure. And another Dalek. Now we get some lemon. That's me sorted for the evening. Cheers. Okay, Greek risotto. You have to cover it with water and bring it to the boil. Uh, a bit like couscous, but you don't bring couscous to the boil, you just let it sit. And then I think this is like a little bit like rice in that you have to keep adding water. There are all my mushrooms. That's my onion ready. Some parmesan. And I'm nibbling on a cracker with a chin. Very happy with this. This looks really good. Really good. There we go. Greek risotto. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm just going to put some peas with it and uh, sit down and enjoy it. Good evening. I've just eaten my supper. It was very, very nice. Thank you. Very, very nice. Tonight we are having a broadcast by the Queen. Things must be bad. Queenie only ever com comes on at Christmas, or if things are really, really bad, or if things are really, really good. So we know they're not good, so things are bad. She's going to give us a little pep talk, I think, which will be very interesting, bless her. Very interesting. Love, Queenie. And warmest good wishes to you all. Well, that's got me all emotional. <laughs> Just, uh... It's so sad. It's so, so sad. Even the Queen has to self-isolate. I'm pretty sure she's probably, you know, at arm's length or more from her staff. And she's probably got a skeleton staff. 
I should imagine she's having to stay away from her family too. So, you know, 90 odd year old lady, I think that's pretty difficult. I mean, I know she's the, she's the queen, you know, and she lives in a palace and she's got everything that she needs. I, I'm aware of that. Uh, but still, you know, it's scary. It's scary for everybody, even the queen. The queen. Okie dokie. It is 11 o'clock at night. It's time for bed. My hand is so sore, so sore and itchy. I found this stuff, Eurax, stops itching fast. I'm going to slather that on. See, you can see it now, can't you? There it is. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. That is not nice, is it? That is itchy. Anyway, I'm going to brush my toothy pegs, get into bed and watch YouTube and crap on the TV until I go to sleep. I'm feeling a little bit anxious tonight. People keep telling me to go to my mum and dad's and I don't know, I just don't know whether I should. I've got a really bad feeling about it. I feel like we're all safe where we are. We're all doing okay. Why rock the boat, as it were? That's kind of how I feel. I feel like it would be just... I don't know, it's tempting fate. They're safe, I'm safe. If I go and join them, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on rose oil on my face. I think my skin is less dry since the heating has gone off, so that's, that's a plus. I'm gonna say goodnight. I have to do my asthma inhaler and my asthma diary thing, you know, the thing. And that's it, going to bed and just relax and switch off and hopefully stop worrying about everything this evening and deal with it in the morning. That's all right. Never did the yoga. Back on track tomorrow. Back on track Monday. Yes. Hope you enjoyed the little walk today. Hope you enjoyed the little vlog today. Hope it wasn't too samey. And I will speak to you very, very soon. Hope you're all well. Take good care of yourselves. Stay home. Good night.